Hey everyone, welcome back to ECU Repair. It's been a while, hasn't it? If you're wondering where we've been for the past three years, well, life happens. But guess what? We're back, and we're more excited than ever to dive into the world of ECU Repair education. Now, some of you might remember our last video from three years ago. That's right, three years. It feels like a lifetime in the world of YouTube. We covered some fundamental ECU repair techniques, and your support and your support and engagement were phenomenal. But hey, life is all about growth, learning, and hitting that reset button when needed. Over the past few years, we've been gathering more knowledge, fine-tuning our skills, and gearing up for a brand new chapter. So here we are, back at it again, ready to share the latest insights, tricks of the trade, and deep dives into ECU repair. Whether you're a seasoned enthusiast or just starting to explore the world of automotive electronics, we've got something for you. Expect more tutorials, hands-on demonstrations, and even some real-world troubleshooting. We've got our sleeves rolled up, tools in hand, and a passion for education that's stronger than ever. Now, if you've been waiting for this comeback, thank you for your patience and loyalty. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join our growing community, and let's embark on this journey together. It's time to dust off the circuit boards, fire up the soldering iron, and dive into the intricate world of ECU repair education. Are you ready? I know I am. Let's roll the intro and let the learning begin. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of automotive engineering as we discuss how to create software for an engine control module, the brain behind your car's performance. If you're curious about coding and engines, you're in the right place. Let's get started. The engine control module is essentially the brain of your vehicle, managing fuel injection, ignition timing, emissions, and more. Writing software for an ECM involves creating algorithms that optimize these processes for maximum efficiency and performance. Choosing a programming language. The first step in creating software is choosing a programming language. C and C++ are commonly used for embedded systems like ECUs due to their efficiency and close to hardware capabilities. Manufacturers might also use specific languages based on their preferences and requirements. Understanding Vehicle Architecture To create effective ECM software, it's crucial to understand the vehicle's architecture. This includes the type of engine, sensors, actuators and communication protocols used. Familiarize yourself with the data flow and how the ECM interacts with other components in the car. Developing Algorithms Now let's talk algorithms. Developing efficient algorithms is at the core of ECM software. These algorithms control fuel injection timing, air fuel mixture and other parameters to optimize engine performance. Thorough testing and fine tuning are essential at this stage. Implementing safety measures. Creating software for an ECM comes with great responsibility. Safety is paramount, so implement fail safes and error checking mechanisms. This ensures that the ECM can respond appropriately to unexpected situations and protect both the engine and the vehicle occupants. Testing and simulation. Once your software is developed, it's time for testing. Use simulation tools to run the software in a virtual environment. This allows you to identify and fix potential issues before deploying the software to a physical ECM. Integration with hardware. With your software successfully tested, it's time to integrate it with the ECM hardware. Ensure a seamless connection between the software and the physical components of the ECM. This is a critical step in bringing your code to life. Real-world testing. Now take your vehicle for real-world testing. Performance, emissions, and fuel efficiency. Analyze data collected from the ECM to fine-tune your software further. Iterative testing is key to refining the algorithms for optimal performance. Documenting and updating. Lastly, document your software thoroughly. With thoroughly. Include on algorithms and any specific considerations. Regularly update the software as needed to address new challenges or improve performance based on user feedback. And there you have it folks, 
Creating software for an engine control module is a complex but rewarding process that combines programming, automotive engineering, and a passion for innovation. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech and automotive content, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in, and happy coding.